Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to set up classes in QuickBooks. Not every company needs classes, so don't feel like you have to use them. That is why we're going to learn other ways to keep track of your business. So let's get started. We can start by setting up this feature in QuickBooks. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, under the Accounting Preference, let's go to Company Preferences, and right here under class, let's check use class tracking for transactions. And we do want QuickBooks to prompt to assign classes in case we forget to do it. So let's hit OK. So what is a class? What does it mean to have class transactions? Class tracking lets you track account balances by department, business office, or location. And within this uh, tutorial I will set up some examples uh, for some of the industries out there. Now another way that you can use QuickBooks to track balances or different types of um, transactions is by going to the customer vendor profile and you can use these types of classifications like vendor type, customer type, job type, payment method um, so you don't have to use the class type now if this doesn't help but say you want to do different um, incomes for the business that you have like for example in a uh, boutique you want to know how much income you have for the apparel department and how much income you bring in for your accessories department there is another way to uh, to do that by going into ch your chart of accounts and under income you can create another account that says apparel income or accessories income and that will separate your income or even your liabilities here for example accounts payable you can have an account that says accounts payable for accessories department and I can show you how this one works if we create a new liability so let's create a new one and we're gonna create um, accounts payable continue and we're gonna call this accounts payable let's see accessories department I can only go to accessories okay and let's save that now let's go enter a bill and I'll show you how this is done if you enter a bill you see up here where it says AP account you can change it to accounts payable accessories so now this bill will go under the accessories and that's another way you can track it so you don't probably need to use the class but in case you do let me cancel that in case you do need to use the tracking let's go ahead and do a bill for the tracking as you can see here we enter the information and over here we can see this um, box that says class let me close this class now we haven't set up anything here actually I do have something set up and it's by store but we can do it by departments as well see here store one store two now if you are going to use classes you better make sure that you use it for every transaction because then otherwise your reports are not gonna be clear they're not they're gonna be all of your transactions are gonna be some uncategorized some categorized for example this one if I categorize this under a store and I save this I'm gonna hit yes um, do a quick add okay and then we go to reports by class you see here we have store one we have that transaction materials unclassified you'll have all these unclassified transactions and that just does not look good on profit and loss you know what you want to record this somewhere so if you're going to use classes um, some of the tips that I will 
let you know is you know once you use it make sure that you use it for every um, transaction don't use classes for two different purposes for example don't create classes for tracking office locations and then try to set up other classes to track partners um, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to mix your classes. It should be only for one purpose. Otherwise, your reports can get really, really bad. We want to get the most out of the reports. So using the class tracking feature, uh, we want to do it correctly. And the balance sheet is also another report that um, is very useful. As you can see, it tells us that we can use this advanced report to track um, the balance sheet by funds, location, profit center, or other category. So if we set it up correctly and we use the class uh, column and we enter the class classes in each transaction, we can really get um, some good reporting. Otherwise, if it's unclassified, I mean, it really doesn't tell us anything. So that's how you set up class tracking in QuickBooks. So after you've seeing that the other list types are not working for you or setting up other accounts in the chart of accounts doesn't work then I would uh, set up class tracking but I would try the other ones first and if you absolutely know that you need class tracking then you can go ahead and set it up okay that is our quick QuickBooks tutorial on class tracking thank you for joining us and I hope to see you on the next one